my check. Uh, we are live, yeah. Hi! Hello, everybody! Uh, well, I mean... Hello, hello, hello. Among Us Pussy. <laughs> anyway. Hello and welcome to the match uh, between When the Map Was Sus, TF versus Smokey X Chewing. Okay, so I think, yeah, it was the anchovies that broke the text last time. Welcome to the second seed versus the seventh seed, and we're just about to get into the rows. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so much easier. Okay. Anyway, hello and welcome everybody once again to uh, ICCT3. We're back with another one. I'm here with uh, my good friend, uh, good participant, uh, as well as longtime ICC patron office. And uh, we've gotten into the rules and uh, into not the rules, the rows. And it seems that Team Maddie's name wins so i'm gonna give uh, the host to maddie here and he'll pick the first warm up so um okay so first uh, i'm gonna give a rundown on both of these teams and in the left corner we have when the map was sus tf flushed uh aka consisting of maddie jackson and tito um so i think uh, but anyway, um, so the teams are consistent of Mari, Jackson, and Tito. Um, so a uh, rundown on Mari, a uh, good DT player, a uh, very good speed player, a uh, good stream player, uh, hasn't played in a long time, so maybe a bit rusty, but yeah, pretty well rounded, one ICC2, uh, kind of controversial though, uh, but we won't get into that now. Uh, and yeah. Uh, Jackson, uh, kind of similar to Mari, except maybe not as fast, and also a bit more consistent, uh, just overall, and focuses a bit more on the aim aspect of the game. Um, uh, also, uh, yeah, so kind of Jackson, uh, number two in Ireland, I mean, pretty well known, even outside of Ireland, uh, by a few players. Uh, Tito, so... Isn't that MSB? Isn't he banned? TF? Well, he was two years ago, but he isn't anymore. Anyway, Tito. So, uh, underrated player, in my opinion. Uh, I think Tito is back in top 50 recently as well. Uh, plays a bit of everything. Uh, you typically see him on maps ranging from actually any year. Uh, but uh, again, a lot on those old maps. Uh, plays DT, uh, Hidden, Herdock, you name it. Um, so I'm actually pretty excited to see him here. He actually participated as well in the first Irish tournament, which was ICCT1, and as well as an ICC1, and I think he's come back since ICC1. Uh, um, hold up, I'm getting pinged here. Uh, anyway. Uh, on the right corner, we've got Smokey X Shioi uh, with Just FC, uh, YH, uh, aka Pedro, and O'Bran. So, uh, I'm going to be referring to Just FC as Volves, but in terms of the captain here, Volves, uh, recently like up and coming reading player and kind of known in the community for giving loads of money to Irish streamers, in particular to Yaxin. Um, uh, but yeah, otherwise, in terms of his skill set, mainly focused on that low air. Uh, likes to play some of that easy hidden. Uh, got first uh, hidden FO pass on Faithlessness, which is a reading map by Newton. Uh, but yeah, pretty uh, pretty good reading there. Uh, outside of that, I think he's got a few decent AMD scores, uh, kind of like that PT farm. But otherwise, uh, I think that's kind of it for Volps. Uh, for Pedro, um, very good Hardock consistency player. Uh, you'll definitely see him maybe on those Hardock only picks in this match, um, which actually there's only one. Uh, but yeah, uh, pretty underrated I'd say in the community. He, you don't really see people talking that much about him. Uh, yeah, sorry, I 
think my internet died there for a second. But yeah, you don't really see people talk that much about Pedro, even though he's got some very, very nice scores. Um, but yeah, pretty underrated player in my opinion, who is pretty good at that hard rock and hard rock only consistency. Like hidden hard rock and hard rock only consistency. Um, in terms of technical skill set, I think he is a bit proficient with slider type, but not much of anything else, I'd say. And I think DT is mainly that consistency DT. And in terms of a brown, I really don't know for this player, because this is a newer player to the scene. Uh, they just popped in actually, this is their first Irish tournament. Uh, however, uh, from what I know, I think they're pretty proficient at uh, maybe that speed DT, since uh, old brown did FC Tower of Heaven with DT, uh, I think a few, like a month, a month and a half ago, a month. Uh, but yeah, great analysis, Poop Legend 22. Hey yo, Martin! Hey yo, Martin, you wanna throw hands? You wanna throw hands? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, that's gonna be it for the analysis of the players. Uh, as you can see, uh, this map is a bit of a bruh moment. Is this about 4 minutes? Well, it's not like I regulate this shit. Uh, let me check. Oh, yeah, it's 3.27. Josu playing the Josu game. Yo, sus! Yaxon, Yaxon is on the Sams. On the what? On the, uh, excuse me, what? But anyway, as you can see, uh, we can nearly do our ABCs here. Uh, we're just missing the A. Uh, because uh, apparently nobody could get an A here. But yeah. So now it's going to be just FC's warm up or Team Smokey XGO's warm up. And yes, yeah, so we see the B rank from Jackson, so uh, main player to look out for here. And we see big flop of fire music, what the fuck is this? Apparently this is a Vopes map. Uh, <laughs> but what the fuck is this? Uh, it's 7 seconds long and it's actually a Tycho map. And uh, no way, it's a Minion map. I mean... I'm gonna say keep it to... Uh, to standard maps. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say keep it to standards. And this is a standard tournament. Play the baby? The baby convertible? What the fuck? The baby? The Vinky? <laughs> and apparently, uh, their whole plan has gone to shit. Uh, actually, no, never mind. They just picked another diff of Big Flopper. Uh. As you know, there's a uh, the the really well known song by Chief Keef called Sosa. Except here it's These bitches love Flopper. Na 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 these bitches love flopper. Uh, you know, we can collaborate on that. But yeah. Put on Jeff Mills, The Bells by Jeff Linder. Uh, well, I'm not the one who's putting on the warm up, so uh, you're gonna have to be listening to flopper ferret noises. What the fuck is this? <laughs> uh, and yeah, and there we go, that's the end of the map. Alright, so that means we're going to be getting into the picks and bans of um, the match. And so, because um, Maddie's team, aka when the map is so uh, trollface, has won the role, they get to pick ban and pick order. I'm going to have to type out this whole fucking type. Why do people name their teams like this? Would you like first or second slash pick? Okay, can people stop rolling? Ah, uh, cause you know we need to we need to get on with the match. Uh, if you want me to change the um, uh, I got you off. Don't worry, I got you. And apparently you just can't read. Here it is again, a heart 
Apparently, people can't read. I'm gonna spam it like four times. Five times, just so you get the message. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine I get silenced during a tournament. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Um, I think it's because there's one ban. Your ban, please. Okay, so we see DT1 getting banned from... Uh, uh, I think Maddy said he didn't like this map, which uh, I'm gonna have to throw hands with Maddy. I'm gonna have to throw hands. Yeah, it's kind of cringe. And now we're looking for the ban from uh, Big Floppa, aka Smokey and Shiwe. And Fremont 1 unfortunately gets banned. I actually wanted to see this map in action because I think it's pretty good. Uh, and it's also because it's the only high CS map in the pool. And you know, I'm a big fan of that high CS and you know, my co-commentator here as well. Big fan of that high CS, but unfortunately we're not going to be seeing it. Um, I think it's also might be because uh, the Exxon got the best HGH air. Maybe that's also um, part of it. Uh, however, we're going to be looking for when the map pulls those TF uh, pick here. Anyway. And they go for DT2, so I think this was kind of unexpected, well, kind of expected since they're like kind of focused around that speed. Uh, well, they're not focused, but because Mighty is kind of adept at speed and because Tito and Yaxon can both play uh, those maps of, of faster VPN, that this is a pretty good pick, especially because at this stage uh, in the tournament, speed maps aren't that fast. Um, so you can definitely afford to go for those faster picks. I said this is also one of the harder maps in the pool. Uh, even though the OD is lower, which means uh, it is easier to act the map, the map is quite dense, uh, even for the star range, I guess. But I mean, because it's still a low five star pool, I think most players should be grand with this. But anyway, all players have ready it up, and we're gonna get into the match. I pray Smokey X Shea wins. That would be pretty cool, though. Uh, again, the favorites here, I definitely won the map pool with Sus. Uh, but at this stage, honestly, it's anybody's game. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, there we go. We're in the map. And now it's just a matter of time for like Nick Line to load it in. As Trinity Client is kind of slow sometimes, you know. You know how it'd be. You know how it'd be if you're a tournament host or if you've ever streamed a uh, tournament client. But anyway, we're in the map. Uh, early breaks actually from Mighty here. Uh, kind of surprising. Uh, um, since he is this kind of like speed bear here. And actually, another break from Tito. So that means 1FC to 2 uh, as Pedro and O Brown are FC. I didn't say shit, O'Brown is an FC, it is now 1 FC to 1, and Mighty has basically an FC as well, so you could kind of say it's 2 FCs to 1. Uh, Ack Advantage is also in favor of when the map pool source, as Tito has that 99.49 accuracy. Uh, this is what I was saying when Tito is like a sleeper in like pickup. Like, look at this Ack, 99.29, my man is gaming, and it might have dropped there, however, still kind of high. Uh, Jackson is still FCing, however, with 98.93 act, if I'm not mistaken. So 99.01 now. And yeah, Smokey XGA's team just looking to lose this pick, apparently. Again, it wasn't their pick, so it's not a break point, so it's not that bad of a situation. Because uh, they uh, have their pick now. But still, an early lead can definitely uh, lead to some uh, complications later on. Uh, anyway, uh, Smokey X Shiwe. I'm just writing down the scores here.
There we go. So it is now 1 0 to when the map pool is sus. TF. Um, but yeah. Mighty does a little bit of trolling. Uh, Vogue's saying here that he's not too comfortable on these bursts, but that's okay because it is now their pick. And they are going to have the opportunity to go uh, for something that they are probably comfortable at. And they go for a Nomad too. I think this is kind of... Actually, no, this is very surprising. Uh, picking Nomad 2 against a team that is, like, pretty, like, really well proficient at Nomad 2s, I think this is very risky. Uh, this is a very risky pick, in my opinion. Um, did I just hear a voice crack you might have? I, I honestly don't know. Uh, but, um, this is looking like a risky pick, and... Uh, as you can see, or maybe not see, we got some better Twitch.tv emotes, and we got some Drake action here. <laughs> as you see, Karantina, Yaxing, Popes, Jamie, and Mari spamming the the Drake emote. Uh, but yeah, what a team! Like, uh, like when the map was so, would you really want to pick the stream map? Again, if they do well, uh, it's definitely going to be somewhat of like a confidence booster. But, um, yeah. Uh, Old Brown remarking that they like golf. Um, so, any of you looking at uh, Old Brown, uh, they like golf. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, anyway, we're in the map now. And so, okay. So this map is at a pretty comfortable BPM at low OD. Uh, so it's a 175 BPM stream map. It's around two and a half minutes in length. Uh, however, this is a more aim focused stream map. So maybe that's why Smokey and Shiwei picked it. And okay, so far we actually see an early break from YH, which I would have been expecting to keep combo and Maddy. Actually, Yaxon as well. Oh my days, people are breaking left, right, and center. I was not expecting this. Uh, so right now, actually Tito, Tito breaking, so no FC on Tito's side anymore. Uh, though Mighty and Yaxon building up their combos, and actually Volks is still FCing. Uh, so the lead is just gonna move on to Smokey X Shue if uh, Volks continues to FC this. Even though Mighty and Yaxon both have combo, if Volks continues to FC, uh, that lead will shift into Smokey X Shue's favor though. Uh, Pedro and O Brown can't seem to find a combo to support uh, support uh, Volks with, and Mari actually breaking his combos. So that's one of the supporting combos gone. But Volks breaks now, so uh, yeah, this is not looking good for Smoke Pick Shue as none of them have combo, and Tito and Yaxon have uh, kind of gotten a respectable combo here, and they also have. Ah yes, the 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 map that you think uh, he probably FC as well because it's a stream map. And as you see, uh, Jackson was apparently wrong. He will not FC everything. Yeah, and Tito, Tito doing well. Yeah, Tito actually performing really well. Like I was saying, this is a sleeper. I'm saying sleeper, sleeper pickup, by the way. Like, honestly, like, people are sleeping on Tito. Uh, but yeah, so this is actually a break point, so not that good of a place to be for, for, uh, Smokey X Shue, as it is now, um, the opposing team's pick, uh, Buddy's team's pick, and that means they also have a 2-0 lead over them. Tito carry, yeah, Mighty even remarking it. Like, honestly, Tito, I was telling you, he's like, Tito is a sleeper pick. Don't sleep on this man. Don't sleep on my guy. And actually, Jackson trying to trying to justify his uh, 
is underperformance. However, cockiness will get the best of you. <laughs> Three digit kind of see five star. <laughs> nah, we throwing some shade. Nah, we throwing some shade. Boo. Nah, but still. So, uh, so it's all good. It's all good. We play as a team, exactly. That's what matters. You gotta play as a team. You don't play for myself. But it doesn't matter. We see the big flame coming from from Opus and Zephyrus here in the chat. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm still waiting for Maddie's pick. Oh, sorry, it's hidden one. Uh, so they're going for that bursty consistency pick uh, in the form of Blue Knight. Uh, it is a Groom map. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Groom is an old Ukrainian mapper uh, who maps a lot of breakcore. And breakcore is a style of map that's usually uh, a style of music, uh, or a genre of music, uh, my bad, that is usually a uh, tendency to have that higher BPM. Uh, this map in particular being 200, so in terms of OS, is not that high BPM. Um, but you'll hear a lot of kind of those like drums patterns, like -da -da -da, and fast like -da 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 patterns, which translate into bursts and screams in OSU. And so you'll see a lot of these here, and a lot of consistency required, uh, because the map is pretty uh, consistent in terms of its difficulty, thus uh, being a consistent burst map with that 200 BPM finger control. Uh, another thing to watch out is that AR9 hidden, so slightly lower AR with hidden. Uh, it's kind of weird saying that AR9 is low with hidden, but like now that everybody like farms DT and plays 10.3, you see that a lot. But anyway, we're waiting for both teams to ready up here. Anyway, yeah, we're just waiting for the teams to ready up here and then we'll get into the map. Um, but yeah, still waiting on players to ready up. As soon as we get all ready up, um, we will go into the match. Is it a close 2-0? Uh, some picks were close. Uh, well, actually no. Yeah, no. Picks weren't that close, to be fair. It was kind of just a uh, going kind of... One combo dominates and brings the lead over. Apparently Mighty said he needs to take a piss, so that's what we're waiting for. I see, I see. Uh, but yeah, how are you guys doing in the chat though? Um, you know, we're just chilling here. But how are you guys doing since uh, you are the ones that we are streaming this for? Are you enjoying the match so far? Um, Today is the first time I'm on stream in attorney. Nice, nice, uh, nice dungeon. Uh, but so far, damn, my co-commentator is uh, not liking this match, unfortunately. Uh, maybe it's also because we're just sitting here, just doing nothing. Uh, I actually have to update the picks for it results. And actually, Maddy is back, and that means all the players are ready. I'm gonna put the look have fun and MP star 10. So let's go. Um, and we're gonna be seeing this hidden one. Uh, yeah. So we've loaded into the map here, waiting for everybody to sync up. Yeah, there you go. Hold on, I'm updating pick. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, that is not good. Oh my god. Tito and Jackson breaking, Old Brown breaking, and what is Pedro's act? Oh my god. Oh my god, I mean Pedro isn't known for his hidden, but oh my days That is a uh, yeah, and Yaxen seems a bit tilted here <laughs> Putting out a question mark questioning why he missed 
And actually, so far, it's going to be the 1 FC to 1. Uh, though, because of Ak advantage on the side of when the map will so uh, they're going to have a comfortable lead because of that 84 Ak from Pedro. And Mighty misses. Oh my god. Well, it's going to be 1 FC to 0. So if actually Volks manages to hold this FC, which he like might as well like hold for a long time, since he is proficient with Hidden, this could definitely go into Smokey and Shira's favor, especially with those chain breaks from Mari. Uh, Yexen has built up a combo, uh, but because of Volks' FC, the lead will shift on to uh, Smokey and Shiwei's team at some point. Yeah, Mighty is, uh, Mighty is breaking a lot here. And if Yaxen misses here, it's like GGGG. Uh, Pedro is also building his act back up, so that's also gonna impact on uh, the small lead that when the Mapu is so have. And O'Brown is also slowly building up combo once again. Especially Volks, yeah, since Volks still has the FC. We're two thirds into the map now. Um, oh my god, how did he miss? Nah, how did he miss? And now the lead is gonna like go like. It's gonna climb now since Yaxton is still holding combo. Uh, even though Tito broke, that's not the combo they need for when the map was supposed to break. Yeah, Pedro has built up combo, same for O'Brown, but Pedro doesn't have accuracy and uh, O'Brown can't match the accent. O'Brown is currently matching a Maddy though, but it's really not enough. That was a, like a very unfortunate miss from just FC. Again, Maddy and Tito break, but it's the breaks that they don't need. And then the break that Smokey and Shoei needs, it's really from Yaxen. And yeah, that is going to be set in stone here. Uh, that was a very unlucky break from just FC, and honestly, if Volks had held, uh, that would have that would have been it. Yeah, that is uh, unfortunately how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you lose games, or in this case, sometimes you lose picks. And so it's going to be now a 3-0 lead for when the map pulls so us. It is, however, Smokey and Shiwei's pick, but a 3-point deficit is still very, very big. And yeah, last spinner here, and yeah, we're ending the map. So Yaxen reverse choking, and Volks choking. So unfortunate stuff. Yaxen did manage to get an S rank. Volks and Mari both with the same act, however, Mari with a lot more misses. And yeah, Pedro just not having a good time on the hidden mod, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's an int moment, yeah. Volks doesn't seem too happy. Uh, but it is what it is. And so yeah, now we're gonna be waiting for the pick from uh, from uh, Volks. I believe in Pedro's supremacy. Um, but yeah. So let's see what uh, Volks' team pick. Uh, honestly, from the maps that are left, uh, that, could, that they could honestly pick, I'm thinking maybe Nomad 1, uh, since Nomad 1 wasn't banned. Or was it actually? I think Nomad, Nomad 1 wasn't. Yeah, Nomad 1 wasn't banned, so honestly, Nomad 1 could be picked. So, yeah, still waiting for that pick. Uh, O'Brown shouting out Cole. Uh, I'm not sure if that refers to Jeb or not, but uh, if that refers to Jeb, that's Jeb. And they actually go for the Nomad 3, which is the out map. Um, I'm really not sure if this is the pick for them to go with, but if uh, if Yaxen and uh, Mighty were kind of struggling on Nomad 2, since Nomad 2 was kind of a bit more aim-focused rather than stamina-focused as a stream map, Maybe this is a way to go, since this out map is uh, flowing focused. 
And also shout out to Kahouser who couldn't make it in. Of course, shout out to the six digit or even the seven digit when he found the when he found the farm post. Uh, shout out to the guy. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't get bought, but uh, it would have been very nice to see him participate in this tournament. Uh, but yeah, this is the Toby Fox song. Uh, as you can clearly see, it is from Delta Rune, and it is Chaos King. One v one, me chap. Damn. Shout out to Jeff Linder with this prostate cancer. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, me, I think that's probably a joke, but yeah. Shout out to his family. Shout out to uh, shout out to his family. Yeah, exactly, exactly, money. We got a shout out, Kyle, sir. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't make it again. Unfortunately, because Office is a dickhead, he also didn't buy him, but... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I'm gonna say, uh, since all players have readied up, we're gonna say, good luck, have fun, and there we go. Speedrun whiskey in the in the press any percent. Anyways, uh, I wanted to buy Kara. Honestly, honestly, Kara, you know what, next time... Cause you you've be, you've you've helped us so much, Kara. You enter next tournament. You can enter next tournament, Kara. You know Scotland, Scotland forever. You know Scotland and Ireland. You know we do a little bit of mixing. You know we do a little bit of mixing. <laughs> okay, on the real, I don't know if you could enter for an Irish tournament, but uh, uh, I am planning on hosting an international tournament this year. Uh, sometimes towards the end of the year, so you could definitely enter that though. If you'd like. I don't know about the Anaya tournament, but I am planning on hosting an international tournament uh, later in the year. But anyway, we're in the map now, and oh my god, that's a lot of smoke air. That's kind of BM, yeah. Honestly, like, when you, like, do this, you're kind of, like, disrespecting the other team. Because yeah, they're winning right now, and they have a 200k lead, as, uh, nobody on Team Smokey X Shui can get combo. And here, uh, most of, uh, when the map was source is comboing. Unfortunately, Tito and Mati do drop their combo, but Yaxin is still comboing. Like, this is... This is some... Uh, nah, this is... I don't know about this. Uh, Yaxon does manage to break, but the damage has been done. There's like a 400k... Nah, it's a 300k lead, but... This is gonna be epic. I, I'm honestly... I don't really condone this. This is... Uh, I don't know about this. Like, yeah, this is... This is just... This is just not it. Uh, we might have to take off a point of when the map was us. But, nah... This is just disrespectful, like... I don't think they should be doing this, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, but yeah. So, that is going to be it. It comes down to, uh... A sweep. Uh, by team when the map was sus. So unfortunate to see, uh, but GG well played. And that means, because this is a single elimination tournament, that uh, team Smokey X Shue will be knocked out from the tournament, uh, while team when the map is sus will uh, go to the next bracket. And actually, look, 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 stream. Smokey X Shio won! Ayo, hey, that means when the map pulls us, it's knocked out. But now, unfortunately, uh, that's it for um, this match. And. Um